about the royal dragon bloodline and this is what you need to know from spirit hello and welcome if you're new here my name is luna i am your oracle of starlight i channel messages from archangels star beings and highest light spirit guides for your greatest good i was sent by the council of light and i'm here to get you to your highest timeline that golden timeline so if you're interested in anything like that please go ahead and hit that like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll know when i come out with a new reading not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so i can channel for you more directly but it helps me to share my light and love with the world for which i am ever so grateful i'll have links below in the description if anybody would like a personal reading a private session a link to my manifest frequency channel where i put out frequency music and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality which i'm actually going to revamp into my collective tarot reading channel so if you guys are interested in anything like that please go over there and subscribe i'll be putting uh collective readings out there very soon and then i also have my brand new channel gypsy soul luna while i'm traveling the country doing this grid work for spirit so if you want to check that out or to go to support me over there i'd be ever so grateful for you i'll have links for that down below too and thank you to everybody who's already supported me over there we just got to 100 subscribers over on that channel you guys i'm so excited thank you so much for all your support um i'm just I'm so excited guys this has been a really incredible journey and so I'm really excited to bring you these messages today I'll have a three images for you to choose from so go ahead and take a deep breath in and breathe out and choose the image or images you most resonate with you might have messages in more than one group that is often the case um, as if you follow along with the energy of my readings and as always I read from the collective so please only take what resonates there could be some messages for you and some messages for another person and as always my readings are timeless so they will come to you when you need them and it's all set up with light codes frequencies and subliminals that uh, that tap into your subconscious mind so if you want to go check out my channel for any other uh, messages high high vibrational uh uplifting messages for you from spirit you can go check that out it's pretty cool it's kind of trippy it's how it was all set up so i really like um i get messages from myself too because i'm a channeler and it's pretty trippy for me but you guys should go check it out it's really cool it's just whatever is calling out to you would have messages for you there so check that out too and i'll have those links below and i'll see you guys in your group Hello and welcome to group number one. If you chose image number one, you chose uh, this beautiful image. And I'll go ahead and I'll put that up on my phone. Let me see which one it is here. We go. It's the black dragon. Got him flipped around here, but I'll go ahead and put that up on my phone so I can look at it as I tap in uh, for you guys, group number one. We're gonna go ahead and get some charms for you. So we have a guitar. We have a butterfly. Have a seahorse it's like a little dragon too i like that so we've got a wing oh i love that very appropriate a dolphin and a fish and we're gonna go ahead and get some dice for you guys as well i mean these will give you some uh, confirmations on numbers that would be either your uh, numerology numbers like soul path life urge they can also be your birth date like the month you were born the day you were born or the year you were born or how old you are and if i don't come up it could be another um, important number as well so it could be anything when i call up these numbers you know they're going to have some meaning for you okay so i've got the number 12. so i'm feeling there's the council of light um so i've got the uh the cancer energy here and i also have mars energy so you could have a sun, moon, or ascendant, um, or even a Mars that's in Cancer, Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, or Gemini. Um, and I'm also seeing uh, the numbers 7, 8, and 4 here as well. So I'm going to get some of these dice here, the numbers here. So we have got a 6, a 3, an 8, a 10. An eight, ooh, eight, eight. A one, 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 so you could be seeing the number one, 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 or 20. So I've got, it's landed on 2080 here. So um, you could be born in the 80s, or you could be in your 20s, okay? 
20s or 30s because I see I've, I've got the other 10 here okay you guys so now you could be born on or this could be one of your uh, numerology numbers the 7th the 8th the 4th the 12th the 1st the 8th the 10th the 6th the I almost said the 16th so definitely the 16th the 18th the 13th the 3rd um, the 17th the 14th or the 20th okay so you could be born on one of those days you could be born in January July August April December June March or October okay so those are the months now you don't have to have one of these but these are just really fun confirmations and sometimes you get your whole birth date or uh, birth dates of uh, significant others and I think that's really cool so then you've got um, 88 so you could of course could be born in 88 I'm actually seeing 888 here so I do see there's going to be some great abundance for you. So you could be seeing that number 888 or 88. Um, you could be born in um, 86, 83, 81, 84, 87. You could be born in 98, 96, 93, 91, 97, 94. You could be born in, um, oh gosh, okay, I need to, <laughs> I didn't put my phone on on um do not disturb there we go guys i was just getting messages through i just actually ran across another tarot reader it's really cool i might be going to house sit for her um so that's pretty neat i'm excited to meet her we're just setting up a plan to meet so maybe you guys are going to be meeting with other people from your soul tribe you know we're getting messages from people from your soul tribe because that did come through for a reason so that's just a confirmation there yes i see the 888 is very strong here okay so now you could also be 23, 26, 28, um, 33, I think I already said the 30s, 33, 36, 38, 31, uh, 21, you could be 20, and you know, straight 20 itself or 30, um, definitely, and then you could be, um, you could be in your 60s, if you would be, or you could be born in 60s, 63, 68, 73, 78, uh, 71, 61, and those are the numbers I'm seeing here right now. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, there's... That fly is here again, you guys. Mm, not welcome. Go away. Thank you. And that, I'll just call in Archangel Michael to just make sure that there is no monitoring spirits around. No interference. I thank you so much for all your divine protection. Okay, and you could be seeing the number 1010 10 as well. Okay, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and get... Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap into your messages. Now, this is for the Royal Dragon Bloodline and what you need to know. So you could be part of this Royal Dragon Bloodline, or just, this could just be things that you need to know about the Royal Dragon Bloodline. There is a connection to the dragons here. I'm going to go ahead and tap into your messages, group number one. So many of you guys do have strong connections to the dragons. What I'm seeing is a very magical connection, a very mystical connection. Maybe you've already always felt this inside, felt like connected to the magic. You could have felt connected to Argatha or Inner Earth or um, Avalon. I do feel Avalon energy very prominently here. Uh, what I'm seeing is wizards and magic. What I'm actually seeing is like this beautiful pillar and this globe above it um, and this, this energy that's that's within this globe. So I, what I'm feeling is it's a very strong magical energy around you. Um, okay, so that's that's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and open my eyes now. That seems about all that wants to come through with the, you've, you've been very connected. You felt very connected to this magic. So the dragons are rising on the earth. Uh, they were coming to help with this war. So this has been a war, um, the galactic war, right? And this is why the Council of Light has brought these dragons in. So they are working with the Council of Light and they're working with Solaris and the sun energies. They've come to bring this great change because what I'm seeing is Pluto for a death and rebirth. So there was a definite underworld energy and a great rebirth that is happening right now. So I'm hearing like rebirth of the dragons. This is helping you to follow your north node is what I'm seeing. And it's also helping you to speak your truth more. So they're coming through to help um, clear your throat chakra. So maybe you found yourself speaking your truth more, being more bold. Is what I'm feeling. It's this dragon energy that's helping you to be more bold. 
He's greatly transforming you in this time, and you are very, very protected by the dragons. So you might see dragons around you or connect to the dragons in some, some way or feel this dragon presence. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. Uh, many of you uh, have lives on Pleiades or Mentaka or Sirius B, because I do see these watery past lives. And many of you are earth angels or earth angelics. You know, maybe you've gotten your light wings or a wing upgrade recently, or you're connecting more to the dragons. And you could be doing this through music. Many of you guys might actually uh, play an instrument because we have the guitar here, or music is very uh, connective for you. And what, what they're telling me is that this music, this uh, musical ability, for those of you that have this musical ability, it's come from this bloodline of the dragons. And I'm also feeling, uh, besides Draco energy, I feel, um, I feel, Dracula energy here, like um, like uh, Dracul, Vlad Dracul. So you guys could have come from this Dracul bloodline. I know I, I've always felt very connected to that bloodline, so there could be a connection for that here. You might have been working through emotions lately. There could be emotions that have been coming up to the surface, and they're coming so that you can look at them and purge them out. Um, to, to They're coming to the surface so that it's not all hidden below the surface. And at the same time, I do see that you're coming together with your soul family. You're coming together with your tribe, which is what I was getting with these messages that were coming through. You're coming together with your tribe, and it's the fishes schooling together. And you guys might have been connected in some sort of mystical school in a past life or in the etheric. Um, I'm seeing that as well. And this is all connected to the Council of Light. With the Scorpio energy, I feel, again, it's a very strong connection to the dragons. So let's see what else we need to hear. I'm going to get some dragon cards. These are star dragon oracle cards protection and that's what he was saying you were divinely protected you are protected by the dragons and this is protection finding what's important and i believe this is why these things are coming up to the surface and look at this rebirth i said there was a major rebirth like a rebirth look at this dragons are helping you to rebirth into something new it's like a transformation it's exactly what i was saying with this butterfly energy it's a great transformation and you're becoming a new being and you are very highly protected by the dragons and you're finding what's important and that and that's why these things are coming up to the surface to help you to release these things and to focus on what's important. And this is what's bringing in your soul tribe, especially with this ability to speak your truth more. I had two more cards come out. It says, freedom breaking the chains and resilience. Yes, you've had this great resilience. And this comes from, for many of you, again, you're connected to that dragon bloodline. You have this draconian energy, this dragon energy within you. And this has given you great resilience and you were, you've been testing your limits. Like I feel like life has tested your limits, but it says finding your limits. So you're finding what's important and you're finding your limits. And this just speaks to you're finding things. You're, you're finding out things. Things are being um, shown to you. Like I said, they're coming up to the surface and they're being shown to you. And this dragon energy has brought this in, this dragon reawakening. And this is bringing you to freedom. And you're breaking the chains. You're breaking free of the matrix. You're breaking the chains of the karmic cycles. And this is what's bringing you to freedom. So this is a beautiful, beautiful, very powerful message. I've got some more dragon cards here. Let me see what else I've got for you. Aquamine, aquamine, aquamarine dragon from Neptune. Aquamine. I'm not even sure what that is, you guys. Sometimes words are hard, but this dragon is holding a key. And look at all the seahorses around. Like I said, they are watery lives and very draconic energies, dragon energies, enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. So that's why these things are coming to the surface. It's giving you this key to the soul wisdom. It says spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge so that's what many of you are doing you're developing these psychic abilities they're coming to the surface that you're learning about these psychic abilities and you're beginning to develop them and you're getting this really great deep wisdom that comes from down inside you and the dragons are bringing this out and this is greatly transforming you water dragon so we've got two water dragons it's like i said you had watery past lives so there's a strong connection to the water here and i was talking about scorpio energy and that is a water energy a deep emotional um highly transformative energy so you feel things with this great depth of emotion. And many of you guys are healers. You feel like healers inside, and maybe you've had to learn to heal yourself is what I'm seeing, but you've been really protected along this path, and you have great power. And this great power comes from your knowledge and wisdom, and that key that you've learned is inside of you. And this water dragon says it helps you to flow easily around obstacles. So this is what you're learning now. Look at this. Is this a lionfish, you guys? It's funny. I had that come out uh, recently. 
so you could be very um very strong you could be part of this royal bloodline well of course this is the royal dragon bloodline so that's what i'm seeing so many of you guys are connected to the lyrans as well so it's that combination of the lyran and dragon bloodline um and that's what that, that's something that you needed to know so it's a beautiful combination that actually merges you together and it makes you more um sensitive and kind compassionate empathetic and understanding whereas draconians don't necessarily have that energy so this is something that comes with this hybrid energy so maybe you feel that and that's where the water energy is coming in to help balance the fire um water and fire they're usually not two elements that go well together but i think you hold them very well inside of you and this is maybe why you've had this great transformation or you've had to learn to balance these things out uh, but this is what's given you such great resilience and freedom to have this depth of energies within you and to have these multiple energies within you it helps you to flow easily around obstacles. So you're learning to go with the flow and you're able to flow around these obstacles. So you've got this great wisdom, you have this great insight and not only are you divinely protected, but the spirit helps you move and flow around these obstacles, anything that comes in your path. And I just did the reading about these obstacles have been removed. So this is just a confirmation that you've flown right around these obstacles. And if you haven't read that video, read that video, if you haven't watched that video yet, you guys go watch that, okay? So it says Christ, light, and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. So that's the second card to develop your psychic abilities. So spirit is really calling on you to develop your psychic abilities because you come from this royal dragon bloodline. For many of you, or you're connected to the royal dragon bloodline in some way. So you just take it how it resonates. Maybe you have the royal dragons around you, or you are indeed part of this royal dragon bloodline, okay? And this means you have very strong psychic abilities. So spirit is asking you to work on these psychic abilities and develop them. Maybe you've already been doing this. Hecate's butterflies. Uh, Hecate's butterflies. Yes, this is what I'm seeing here. So um, that's what it, there, there's the key again. And the butterflies. Great transformation. This wisdom within you has brought this grand, great transformation. And uh, this is witchy energy. And it's from the underworld. Uh, so just like what I was talking about, that Pluto energy. Candy moonbeams and tiger lily nymph tiger lily nymph and candy moonbeams so what i'm feeling from this again is that tiger uh that that lyran energy that cat energy so you're going to have a cat energy too so this is the hybrid energy and again it makes you it makes you more beautiful it makes you more sensitive and more sensitive to the energies with the nymph energy you are very beautiful and you might have a siren energy that draws people to you and again nymphs also i feel like the water nymph sort of vibes so you might feel very connected to the mermaids or the sirens or you could come from this bloodline as well again that's a combination of the bloodlines but this key within you it came from the underworld it came from the darkness it came from the shadow and it's brought this great transformation so either you've already done this or this is what you're working on right now so just put this on uh put this how it resonates for you on the timeline that you're on but look at this candy moonbeams this is reminding me that halloween is just around the corner and i as i've been trying to do kind of like halloween themed readings uh which is, seems to be what's coming through from spirit it's not something that i'm just picking myself but this is feeling really nice so i do feel something special is coming for you some great change over uh over halloween now you can watch this at any time but there will have been a great change of energies coming through this halloween and it's been incredible the energies that are coming through in the month of october the transformative energies are just uh, wild and amazing you guys and again you might be seeing rainbows or auras or auras around the moon or again there was comets we've got that double moon right now the double moon is creating great change on our planet. The magnetics are going wild and it's making you highly magnetic and drawing new things in. And look how she's got the little dragon wings. That's so cute. So you are you are an heiress to this bloodline. For many of you, you're an heiress to this bloodline. Take that only if it resonates, but that's what I'm feeling here. Um, with the nymph energy, with this, uh, there's a fey energy here. And again, a lyran energy and an underworld energy and a very witchy energy. So you have all of these energies within you. Just take the ones that resonate. I actually got the Fae cards out. So this dragon line is definitely connected to the Fae. And again, I said it was very magical. So we're going to get some of these Fae uh, cards for you. Candy moonbeams. There's something sweet that's coming in for you. It's coming in with this double moon. It's coming through, but it's a mystery. It's a mystery right now is what I'm feeling with the moon. It's a mystery, but it's because you're so magnetic and you've got that beautiful siren, witchy siren energy, and you're just pulling things to you. So there's something special that's coming in. This says the honey mother. Sometimes the greatest magic lies in the smallest 
in the smallest forms. So this could be something small that's coming in that is going to be quite magical. Or maybe you're very small yourself, but you are quite magical. This is where the greatest magic is coming from. Um, so definitely this, you're a light worker with this bee energy. I feel like a queen bee sort of energy. Now you can be a male or female. Actually, you can be whatever gender you'd like. Um, it doesn't have to be male or female. You can identify as whatever you wish, but you have a very regal energy about you. Again, because you're from a royal bloodline. This says keep going. Trust in yourself. You have all you need. So this, I feel like the working on your psychic abilities or working about the, through this shadow or through the death rebirth process. So that's what spirit wants you to know, just to keep going because you have all that you need. All that you need is within you. The key is within you. And this is what you've discovered. The silent one. Watch the shifting shadows and be caretaker of the silence. So the, again, that's, that's the shadow. It's the call to the shadow. This is something that you've been working on. And, and you're very accustomed to these darker energies, these shadow energies. So this is something that you had to work through with this dragon energy, okay? That, to have to work through the shadow, to, uh, to be very accustomed to the darkness, to have that balance within you. The spell singer, cast spells of wonder and delight. I do feel that you do cast spells of wonder and delight. Again, that's that beautiful siren energy that comes from you is what I'm feeling here. Um, and what I'm seeing here is you hold magic within your palm. You hold magic within the palm of your hand and you can call people to you. Um, you can call energies to you. You can manifest great things into this reality. And for many of you, you might be beautiful singers as well. And if so, you have something special that's in the frequencies of your voice, this, this voice attunement, this activation. Again, it's very musical. Uh, I did feel the throat chakra activation that has to do with this dragon energy. So you might be singing. Maybe you sing to yourself. Maybe you sing to a child or you did when they were younger. You know, take it how it resonates. Maybe, um, maybe you sing... Uh, to your family, maybe you sing to others, but there's something about something special about you singing, something special about your singing voice. And it looks like new opportunities from the bottom of the deck of the Sentinel. New opportunities shall manifest in unexpected ways. Again, that's definitely small. Uh, greatest magic comes in small forms, and these new opportunities are going to be manifesting for you in unexpected ways. Unexpected ways. I did say there's incredible things coming in for you, incredibly magical transformations coming in in this month of October and beyond. So there's a great change happening right now. And I do feel you have like fairy spirit guides, dragons, and I'm hearing angels all around you that are protecting you that are helping to bring through this transformation. So this is Strange Journey um, is another card that they're giving me. It says, take control of your quest choose your companions wisely so this is something that you've learned along your path uh, to take control of your quest that your destiny is in your hands you choose your destiny you choose your path and you choose the things that you wish to believe that you hold true that ring true for you because this is this is your path this is your timeline it's not anybody else's it's not what anybody else is telling you it's yours and so you're choosing these companions wisely and again i said you do have spirit guide companions around you animal companions fey companions dragon companions companions that are helping you along your path but this also could be a call to your soul family as well is what I was feeling your your soul tribe coming in your brothers and sisters and this says the old paths so it says walk the unknown in unknown territory to see from a new perspective so definitely um you're called to step out of your comfort zone maybe you guys have been taking journeys or trips um or you're walking a new path um this has to do with the old path it says because I do feel like you've want, you've walked many paths in past lives. It's You have this strong connection to your ancestors. And through this, you have a strong connection to the dragons. So you're walking into new territory and you're seeing things from a new perspective, from new perspectives. And this great change has come from all these things that have come to the surface for you to look at. So there's been a lot of change in the month of October and there will continue to be even more change. And many of you might be going within to, uh, to seek more wisdom. And many of you are called to start something new. Okay, you guys? And um, that's just a beautiful message. Let me check my time real quick. Yes, I've been tying. I saw 212 on my timer. Um, so somebody could be born on February, maybe uh, February 1st or February 12th. That's a strong, powerful confirmation for you. But also you could be seeing the number 212 or you could be seeing twos and ones in any sort of sequence. But that's just a beautiful confirmation that this is your message. Okay, guys, I'm sending you guys so much light and love. Please give me uh, hit that like button for me if you haven't already as it really helps my video get out to others. And thank 
thank you so much uh, for leaving a comment for me down below. I love all you guys' beautiful comments and confirmations or when you're shouting out to the collective, sending love. It's just so beautiful. And I'm so excited to have you guys here in my community with our soul tribe. Um, thank you for being a subscriber. We're almost to 3,000 subscribers, you guys. And when we got to 3,000, which will be really soon, I'm going to be doing another Oracle card, tarot card giveaway, um, which I'm not sure which of they'll be yet, but I'll be making a post for that. So be sure that you're subscribed so that you're able to participate in that. And again, thank you for all the beautiful energies you send me in any way, shape, or form. Especially thank you for your donations and your purchasing a personal reading. As this gives me gas money and food money as I'm traveling doing this grid work um, for the collective. As a high priestess for the 144. So I'm ever so grateful for you guys. I'm sending you so much light and love. And I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose image number two, you chose of this beautiful image. And I've already got that pulled up on my phone here so I can look at it as I tap in, you guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to get you, oh, we're going to clear, cleanse out the energies really quick from uh, group number one. Let me just drop this rock in here. I will. Oh, that was so loud, you guys. I'm so sorry. so much and thank you so much to Archangel Michael for holding this space I'm gonna get you guys some charms okay so we've got a tree I love this uh, this image here it's like the royal house of the dragon crest uh, so definitely connected to this family lineage here with the tree okay then we've got the you know I'm hearing the Melusine um, so there's this could be a line of the Melusine as well that is my bloodline uh, but this is a siren um, energy and these energies came up in group number one so if you feel connected to the siren or the Melusine Mintaka uh, energy I would go ahead and check out group number one as well so this is a, I've got this beautiful ring. So there looks like there's a house of the dragon partnership is what I'm hearing coming through for you. I've got a butterfly for transformation, magic I am hearing, and I've got this little fish that came up in group number one. So that's just another confirmation. I'm going to get one more charm for you guys. Oh, another butterfly. Uh, that's, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so definitely, um, there's definitely a beautiful emotional uh, transformative partnership coming through. Uh, and this would be a, a spiritual marriage is what I'm feeling as well. Definitely, because um, that ring symbolizes uh, divine counterpart partnerships and, and marriage. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to get some dice here. Number three. We've got the Sagittarius arrow. And I've got Saturn. Okay, guys. I'm also seeing, so you could have a strong placement in, um, and the, so your sun, moon, rising sign could be in, uh, in Saturn, <laughs> guys, or your Saturn, okay, it could be in, um, Sagittarius, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Libra, or Capricorn, so those are the energies that I'm seeing here, and I'm going to go ahead and get some dice for you, and it doesn't have to be, um, that's just a, a powerful confirmation, these just could be energies that are around you right now. So we're going to get some of these numbers, dies, and we're going to get you some confirmations of um, numbers, dates, uh, also numerology numbers as well. So I see, um, I see one, two, three, four. So you could be seeing the number one, two, three, four. I've got four, four, four. You could be seeing the number four, 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 actually, or four, 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 four. So you are divinely protected on this path and you're going to get where you're going and you are protected by the dragons and the angels. That's what I'm seeing. You could be seeing the number three, three, three um, or the number two, two. Okay, you guys, um, you could be a life path, solar, any of those things. You could be a three, one, four, 12, four, I already said four, two, 13 or three. Um, or 11 is what I'm seeing. Now you could also, this uh, you could be born in April, February, January, March. Is there, a th there was a 13th month, you guys. So there could be a 13th month uh, sort of thing going on here. I think that was with the lunar cycles. So this could be uh, a long time ago, some sort of connection to the moon. Okay, I feel a connection to the moon here. March, December, April, January. So those are all coming through. You could be born on the 4th, the 2nd, 
the 13th, the 11th, the 5th, the 3rd, the 12th, the 1st, the 3rd, I already said the 3rd. You could be born also on the 20th, the 30th, and okay, so that's what I'm seeing there. Or um, you could be uh, 24, uh, 23, 25, 21. You could be, I think I already said 22. 44, 40, 43, 41, um, or you could be, so there's not a lot of ages coming through right now, but that's, um, so that's what basically wants to come through. So I've got a double ought as well. Um, so I do feel like you're going to be getting some sort of um, extra income is what I'm feeling from this. And this ability to manifest, it has to do with this dragon bloodline, okay? And, um, I think that's pretty much the what wants to come through there. All right, so we're gonna put these over here. The number 13, that's like a death and rebirth. Uh, also the divine feminine, the number for the divine feminine. Someone could definitely be in their 40s. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and tap into your messages, group number two, um, about this royal dragon bloodline and what you need to know. So you are connected to the tree of life and you do come from this royal dragon bloodline ancestry. This group um, is connected to this ancestral tree. So there is something within your DNA that connects to this. You can connect to the dragons through your DNA. Um, but you, I, the house of the dragon is what I'm hearing. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing some, okay, so I'm seeing some occult symbolism, some secret society symbolism. So you could be connected to secret societies or you could be connected to certain occult practices, um, magical occult practices, or you were connected to these in past lives. So you might feel very connected to certain magical occult practices. Even if you haven't practiced them in this lifetime, you could be feel very connected. I'm actually seeing the um, the Masonic symbol and I'm seeing the symbol that's like this, but it has the, uh, the things that go like this. I can't remember what that symbol is for right now you guys but that's the main one that I'm seeing so it's like this and like this <laughs> that kind of goes down together so it makes like a, a kind of a um, diamond in the center that it has the lines that come out like this and I'm hearing as above so below as within so without so this could be something that you you speak of um, with this connection to the tree of life I also feel a very strong connection to some druidic ancestry connection to the trees um, and connection for some of you guys to Nordic ancestry okay so that's going to be very prominent here I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some dragon cards so you came um, for many of you guys you came from some watery past lives and you came to transform. Uh, again, House of the Dragon, you've got some sort of um, partnership that's come to transform the planet, okay? It's gonna come together body, mind, and spirit. So this will be a partner that you're connected to body, mind, and spirit. And it came to break out of the structure. It came to break out of the traditional. Um, break out of the, the structured element is what I'm feeling here. Because I see Pluto energy here, as well as a North Node, so following your North Node. Um, and coming, having this rebirth, coming up out of the underworld energies, have, uh, coming up out of the structure of the Saturn energy, of that traditional energy, breaking free from that is something that you came to do to transform. And many of you are doing this in love. I see Venus, Venusian energy here. You're doing this in love and it's bringing you to abundance because I see Jupiter here. So this, we've got the green and gold dragon from Sirius and the white gold dragon from Lyra. So you guys could be connected, very strongly connected to Sirius and to Lyra, okay? It says, brings universal knowledge to your spiritual pathway. So um, the Sirius energies are bringing universal knowledge to your spiritual pathway. So you might be um, getting communications from Sirius. I do have on my memberships, I have my uh, channeled messages from Sirius playlist. Um, so if you, you guys want to go check out my memberships, they start at just 99 cents a month. And for $1.99 a month, you can get actually access, early access to my readings. Um, so you guys should check that out. That just came through because I get these channeled messages from Sirius. And they give me a playlist. I'm connected to them all the time. So Sirius is bringing you this universal knowledge and spiritual on your spiritual pathway. And it says, learn about spiritual technology and be a transmitter of sacred knowledge. So many of you are called along this path to, to learn about spiritual technology, to um, in, 
to actually do things with this spiritual technology or to be a transmitter of this sacred knowledge or both. Um, so many of you are feeling that and it's because these dragon energies are helping to elevate the collective unconscious and elevate the consciousness of the planet Earth, elevating the planet Earth in consciousness. With this white gold dragon from Lyra, again, you were part of the uh, hybrid bloodline, the connection to Lyra and dra um, the Draconians. So this is the house of the dragon that you're connected to, um, the royal line. And it says it connects you to the highest Christ light. So we've got the angels at Sirius, uh, the, the grand central sun, connecting you to the highest Christ light. So you are connected to source energy, and you're going to be getting downloads either from Sirius um, or uh, from God, you, the Christic lineage. Um, this also could have to do with the sacred secretion, the sacred oils that you're working with um, to bring that Christ consciousness within you. Okay, And then you're developing your causal chakra and bathing in ninth dimensional Christ light. So maybe you're working on your causal chakra, which is the chakra that kind of floats behind your head, um, kind of uh, where your uh, brainstem is, sort of behind your head there. And, and this is helping you to have this astral gateway. It's bathing you in ninth dimensional Christ light. So it has to do with, again, with this Christic, um, the Christic oil. So some of you guys could be connected to the Christic lineage as well. And it came from this royal bloodline is what they're telling me. Okay, you guys? So that's really cool. We'll get you some more dragon cards. Ooh. Trust, fr love, and friendship. So, so Spirit wants you to trust that this love and friendship is coming in for you. And you are beloved by the dragons. You are dragon Ken, and you are beloved by the dragons. And they want you to trust that this love and friendship is coming in for you. Um, so this is this is other others like you are coming in for you. This love and friendship is going to be surrounding you, and many of them are connected to this royal bloodline. Surrender, letting go of the darkness. There's a lot of darkness to let go of when you're part of this dragon bloodline. You have to do a lot of shadow work, and this is something that you've been learning to do. Uh, you're surrendering and letting go, letting go, uh, letting go of anything that does no longer serve you. Dominance, re, re believing in yourself. Um, and I was hearing like relieving, uh, relieving, this is relieving you. Uh, this is letting go is relieving you from these dark energies and helping you to believe in yourself and your dominance over the earth. Because with this dragon energy, you are meant to dominate. And then you're meant to trust that this love and friendship is coming in for you. You know, I didn't get any tarot cards in the last reading and I'm really feeling the need to get some tarot cards now. So I'm going to do that. We're going to get a, uh, just a few tarot cards for you. From our, we're using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. I haven't used this one in a while, you guys. Okay, so I got three cards that came out. So we've got the Page of Cups, Friendship, uh, Death, and the Fool. Um, so and we they came out like this. Man, I think you were even friends with death. I think you could be even even be friends with the angel of death. And and if you're friends with the dragons, you know, like that's kind of a death energy in itself. A dragon is sort of like an angel of death if you think about it like that. But then I sit very connected to uh, underworld energies here. Um, but you have friendship coming in, and spirit wants you to trust that this friendship is coming in for you, that, that the right ones for you, and to make the leap. People might be making a leap towards you, or um, in love, someone could be feeling like they're a fool for you. I'm a fool for you. Uh, yeah, so I definitely feel that. Someone is a fool for you. And honestly, uh, like, okay, so because you have this special magical energy, and again, take this only if it resonates, but I do feel it's like even death is a fool for you. Even the underworld energies is a fool for you. Even Hades, uh, as, as the the master of the underworld is a fool for you. Even even the devil is a fool for you. You have such beautiful, beautiful energy, such a beautiful aura, and you stand so much in love. You're so healing, and you stand so much in love that even they, these energies are a fool for you. Like Nothing is a match for you. Nothing is a match for you with this energy, and you're supposed to trust in that. You're supposed to trust in that. So that's, that's really beautiful. And again, we've got the 13 for the death. And rebirth. So there's, I also feel that you've had to let go of a lot of friends from the past. Um, maybe, maybe you felt foolish. Um, maybe they made you feel foolish. Maybe they, maybe they sent you energies that weren't right. And again, this had to do with the structure. It had to do with the matrix. It had to do with keeping you from coming to your power. And you had to put an end to a lot of relationships and maybe set off on a new path on your own. 
for many of you guys, this is the case. So the Seven of Cups, there was a lot of illusion. There was a lot of illusion that we're trying to keep the dragons from rising. Um, that people that were wearing a mask, Nine of Cups, and this is what you're supposed to be in. You're meant to have this beautiful Nine of Cups energy. You're meant to have all the friendship, all the love, all the sensual energy, and all the options. You're meant to have this soul family gather around you. And the illusion was trying to keep you from that. But you're going to get your wish fulfillment is what I'm feeling. And you're meant to be seen by the world. And this could be the emperor. Um, you're coming to this major cycle of completion with that 1010 10 portal. You might have had messages there. And we also have the emperor here. So this could be who's a fool for you. Or you could be this emperor and you're feeling like a fool for someone else. I'm a fool for you. So there's an emperor energy here. So you're meant to raise, come to this dominance. You are meant to come to this dominance yourself. But also with this partnership energy, I'm feeling there is an emperor that is a fool for you that wants to make the leap towards you and bring you a cup of love. Okay, they may be going through a death rebirth process themselves right now, but they're coming to this major cycle of completion. And many of them see that you are their world. Okay, so take that only if it resonates or how it resonates because we have different timelines and some of you guys already have your partners, but somebody was feeling Feeling heartbroken or you were heartbroken from these people in the past uh, and that's what um, that's what this illusion was trying to keep you in this heartbreak and trying to keep you in this five of swords energy where you just had a battle until you were tired you just had a battle until you were tired but you cut those things off I'm taking these right off the bottom of the deck you guys you cut these things off with this queen of swords energy you cut off a lot of people and you have your boundaries up you have the firm boundaries up and you kind of you're beautiful but deadly so many of you guys have like a very edgy energy to you you might be very intimidating to come forward towards, you know. Um, there might be a lot of competition, a lot of competition for your energy because you have such an amazing magnetic magical energy um, with the magician and the hermit. So uh, you have this magical energy yourself uh, and the hermit. So we also have Aries, Virgo, and Gemini out here on the table. So um, besides having... Besides having this magical energy yourself, you know, and this great wisdom from having gone inside and coming up to this dominance yourself, there also could be some many that are vying for your attention as the queen of swords. So and now take this how it resonates and put yourself in this energy where you see fit. Some, there are many that are vying for the queen of swords, okay? There are many that are vying for her attention. Uh, the hermit, the magician, and the emperor is what I'm seeing specifically are vying for the queen of swords' attention. So let's see. Uh, let's see if I can get a little confirmation. Um, let's see a little confirmation for the queen of swords here, spirit. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they just want to bring you love. Three of Cups. They want to have this celebration and get together with you. So that's um. It, there's going to be somebody that's bringing you a cup of love. Uh, Queen of Swords, okay, because, you know, there is a lot of competition, but they just want to bring you this cup of love and have this uh, have this celebration with you with the Three of Cups. They do want to get together. There's a major judgment on this because people have been watching you and trying to make a plan. Page of Pentacles, they might have been holding back and just, like, looking at it. Like, maybe they thought you were too good to be true uh, with the Four of Cups right underneath that. And this could have been somebody that you worked with, the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Um, the, again, Four of Swords that was holding back. They were thinking of you at night. Four of Pentacles right underneath that we're holding back thinking you of at night and hiding things uh, seven swords right underneath that but they were so tempted by you the devil right here they are so tempted by you and they want this uh this hierophant this is the truth they want this hype oh my heavens these cards are just spitting right now hierophant the ace of swords they want to come together with this truth because they want this ten of cups with you this person could be an artist um, or it be some sort of artistic, some sort of artistic profession or somebody that creates their own reality um, or work. They could create videos or something, uh, anything like that. But this is the sun energy and they're letting go of this hanged man energy. They're letting go of any sort of stagnation to come forward now. And I, this is because you've done so much work on yourself that this energy is coming forward for you. Again, Divine Masculines, put yourself in uh, in the place because I'm obviously reading for the Divine Feminine here. So this is uh, these were your energies. And somebody, if you're the Divine Masculine, you have this major death rebirth this change okay and you're going to be coming forward and speaking your truth about this ten of cups this ultimate wish fulfillment that you see that you wish to have uh with somebody that you might have been feeling heartbroken about you might have been feeling like all caught up in your heads you might have been feeling there was some sort of illusion you might have really had to go inside and find your inner wisdom for this okay but it's going to be very magical it's going to be very productive you guys are going to work together and it's going to bring this ultimate manifestation and joy the sun it's the most positive card there is and this was the hanged man in reverse and i said and right underneath that again it's the lover and they want to make you this queen of pentacles so somebody that wants to want to be a wife they, they don't want any more of this five of cups energy no more of this betrayal no more of this hiding things keeping things a mystery okay because they did see a past life with you they did see this uh completion with you 
um, but this is the lovers coming together. It's no more being stuck or stagnant uh, and having that beautiful partnership. So that is your message, group number two. Um, let me know how it resonates. I love hearing from you guys below in the comments. Please hit the like button for me if you haven't already as it really helps my video get out to other people. And thank you so much to everybody who has contributed to my channel. And anyway, um, I'd let you know when you donate or you purchase a personal reading, it actually buys me, uh, it gets me gas money and groceries, uh, food to eat as I'm traveling doing this grid work for spirit. So I'm just ever so grateful for you. And I'm ever so grateful for you guys that send, that subscribe to my channel or send me energy in any, uh, in any sort of way and I send that back in love and light in return tenfold. I'm ever so grateful for every one of you. I'm sending you so much light and love. I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number three. If you chose image number three, you chose this beautiful image. And I'll go ahead. I already have it on my phone here so I can look at it as I tap in. Now give me just one second. I'm going to open this adorable little Alvani. Isn't it so cute? I got this little case of Alani's. They're minis and they're so adorable. I really needed a drink for this third reading here, guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get you some charms. Oh, let's cleanse out the energies really quick. For group number three. No, Janie. <laughs> Janie thought my Alani smelled really good. She was thinking about drinking some. <laughs> She's a cute girl. Okay. All right. So we've got those energies cleansed out for you. Group number three. I'm going to go ahead and get you some charms. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for holding this space. And we've got, oh my gosh, what? This is crazy, you guys. So these groups, I cleanse out the energy every time. These groups have really gone together. So um, so this is the, this is the charm from group number two. So we've got that beautiful Amelusine Siren energy. We also have another tree, a tree of life here. Very, very strong energies. This is a charm from group number one. So we've got the wing for the dragon. It's funny, it came out on the last dragon one too. I've got a kitty cat, magic, intuition, independence. I'm feeling there. We've got a key. Oh, this is a beautiful flower key. We have a shell. Shell. We've had some very strong watery past lives um, in these readings as well. And a unicorn frolicking. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get you some dice here as well. So we've got the number 10. We have the moon. And we have the uh, Cancerian energy again. Okay, so now you could have a strong placement. Sun, moon, rising, and Cancer. Leo, Aries, uh, Scorpio, Gemini, or Pisces. Now, especially if you have a moon in that, that's going to be a very strong confirmation because we've got the moon right here. Okay, guys, I'm going to get some dice. Now, these could be your numerology numbers, uh, date you were born, or numbers that you are seeing. We see, I see 212, I see 222, two, two, two. Um, 7, 7, so you could be seeing the number 7, 7, oh, 7, 7, 7, <gasps> we got a 7, 7, 7, you guys, this is super lucky. And I also see the number 60 and the number 20 number 40. Okay, so you guys could be born in um, February, October, June, or that would be September, okay? Um, I also see July here. So this is July. Okay, so you, you could also be born on the 2nd, the 10th, the 6th, the 9th, the 7th, the 1st, the 20th, the 10th, the 17th, the 19th, the 16th, the 12th, or the 11th, okay guys? Um, and then for uh, birth years or ages, you could be 72, 71. You could be born in this year as well. Um, you seven, born in 72, 71, 77, 79, 76. Um, and then we've got another 10. So that would be 82, 87, 81, 89, 86. Um, we, okay, so 70 or 80 as well. I've got 60 here. So we could be, you could be born or you could be in your 60s. 67, um, 60, 61, 62, 69, 66. Okay. Um, you could be 20, 22, 21, 27, 29, 26, 30, 32, 37, 39, 36. Okay, guys. Oh, 40 to 
46, 49, um, 47, or 50, two, <laughs> 51, 57, you could be 50, straight on 50, uh, 52, 59, um, 57. I think I said all of those. Okay, you guys, so that's that's the energies that want to come through. I love this 777 one. Many of you guys are chosen ones, and then you might be seeing the number 222 two, 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 or 222, two, two, or you could be seeing the number 777 or 77. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tap into your messages, group number three, um, about this royal dragon bloodline and what you need to know. So you held a power within you, and I'm seeing the chalice. I see um, the the um, the golden chalice. You have you could come from the Holy Grail bloodline. I see the light within you. So maybe you're in a vortex, or you've been working on Merkaba meditation. Uh, but what I'm seeing is the vortex of energies within you. The light here in the center, and the the cups uh, on, uh, coming up on either side. So that's what I'm seeing. So you have this golden chalice you have this a uh, holy grail within you you have this beautiful energy within you and it's meant to shine brightly like a star so you are meant to shine brightly like a star and with this energies in your energetic field you actually do shine brightly like a star right now and this actually is because you came from this dragon bloodline you come from this uh um uh, draconian this dragon bloodline that was uh it was Again, water the past lives to Mintaka. And I'm also feeling a very strong connection to Sirius and Sirius B here um, with angelic energies. So you have angelic energies around you. You could be a very angelic dragon. Uh, you might feel like a dragon yourself, a very special uh, unicorn of a dragon. So you're a very special dragon. This dragon is white. They are very, very special, very pure. Um, this one's white with, uh, with turquoise, so very healing. I feel like you're a very healing dragon. You have like some sort of energies within you. Now, you don't have to identify as a dragon, but that's what I'm feeling here. Um, so, again, you're, it's this bloodline. So, it's some sort of energy within you. You are magical. You are independent. You are the one. You are a chosen one. Um, and you're meant to be magical and independent. You're meant to have these special energies within you, and you're meant to be super special and to stand out from the rest, to be a star. It's because you have this heat, a great wisdom within you by connecting to the tree of life within your body or connecting to your ancestors and your bloodline. Many of you have a beautiful siren energy or you sing with a lovely voice. You could feel very connected to the mermaids or very connected to Atlantis. But there's a major cycle of completion that's coming through for you right now. This major cycle of completion, this mastery of a cycle of things that were hidden in the dark. Um, that there could be some sort of emotions that are coming to balance right now. And um, for many of you, you're, again, royals, but that's definitely... I was gonna say, you guys, but that's what's on the that's what's on the thumbnail. So yeah, you're royal. You come from the royal bloodline, and you could be connected to Lyran energy too, because that's what I'm seeing here with the Leo, the royal Leo energy. So I'm gonna get you a couple of dragon cards. Okay, so we've got independence. Uh, so we just have that confirmation: independence and the self gathering your power. So look how beautiful this one is—the self. And again, it's, it's the one you've gathered this power, and like I said, it's from your bloodline. You've con by connecting to the DNA. You could even ride dragons. Maybe you were a dragon rider in a past life. You might feel that dragon rider energy, or again, you know, feel that dragon energy yourself. And you're meant to be independent. You're carving your own path, gathering your power, and carving your own path. That's beautiful. I'm going to get you a couple more cards. Remember to get some tarot in this group. I totally forgot in group number one, but that's okay. Let's see what we've got here. Golden Solar Dragon helps you stand in your masculine power and wisdom. Again, I did see it's a balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So divine feminine, maybe you've had to stand in this, uh, to, to have this balance, you know, um, to come to this balance to stand in your masculine power and wisdom. A uh, divine masculine, you've had, and it, it's not, it doesn't have to be with gender, so you could be any gender. So just put yourself in this where, where it resonates, but I'm just talking about energies. Um, and this says, let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated, becoming an inspired leader. You're meant to shine. You're meant to be the one. Uh, this is a mastery of a cycle for you. The things are coming up out of the mystery, uh, coming up out of the dark. So coming to light, coming to the sun. And, and like I said, it's connecting to your DNA. Uh, that's literally what I said. So it's a super, super strong confirmation here. Um, that you're getting this golden light upgrade, this golden light, golden dragon upgrade, which is super cool. Um, I'm a golden dragon, so I love that. So that's a beautiful confirmation for me. So these, and you're getting light codes that are activating you. And this is helping you to become an inspired leader. So many of you, again, you're meant to be the one. You're meant to be a leader. You, many of you could be a life path one. Um, 
you know, you could be any of these numbers, of course, but that's that's what I'm feeling. Uh, you, you're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be the one. You're meant to be magical and independent. You're meant to be that beautiful unicorn energy. With the orange, orange gold dragon from Arcturus, so you could have a strong connection to Arcturus, um, opened you to knowledge for the golden age. And that's just another confirmation. Golden age, golden timeline. That's what we're shooting for. That's what my channel is all about. So that's just beautiful. And you carry the energy of the future. You are carrying the energy of the future and you're meant to be this guiding light. That's just a confirmation of everything I've already told you, you guys. So that's really, really freaking cool. I just, I just love these messages. We're going to get you guys a couple of tarot cards and see here. Anything else that wants to come out? Here's number three, one. You're an alchemist. Two. Page of Swords. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so you are an alchemist. Temperance energy. Maybe you've really had to work on this divine timing and uh, and to learn patience for this divine timing as these energies are balancing out, okay? You're the high priestess so you can see things. And being able to see things, uh, for many of you, uh, Page of Swords, uh, besides that there's people watching you, okay? Um, definitely there's people watching the high priestess. So if you're a high priestess, there's definitely people watching you. And again, you've had to balance all these energies and it's because you're the star, okay? You're the star with the nine of wands, you're a wounded warrior. And, and it's not just that, it's like because you've come to this beautiful healing energy is that you're capable of taking all and all the energies. You're very strong and you're capable of taking these things on. Again, magical and independent. You are very strong, but you, uh, the healer, we've got the star and the, the ace of nine of wands. So definitely, definitely wounded healer energy. You've had to heal yourself. You've had to dip your toes into the waters of life. You could actually be visiting special waters, special healing waters. That's just another sign for you. You'd be getting special DNA activations and downloads in these special waters that you're touching for any of you that are doing that, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Um, or you could be getting downloads from the stars, uh, from the star beings that are sending things to you. And I'm hearing star dragons. This is actually my star dragon deck, so that's very interesting. But uh, pe people are watching you because they know that you know the mysteries. You, they know that you, and for many of you, you're very intellectual and you've studied or you are studying. And this is how you're getting this higher knowledge. And you can see beyond the veil. And you are the keeper of mysteries. So you've had to balance out a lot of energies and learn to be this alchemist. Uh, the empress at the bottom of the deck this, to come to empress energy. Ten of Pentacles. All right, underneath that, you're meant to have this beautiful Ten of Pentacles, and you're meant to come together with people in your community and to work together with uh, people in your community to collaborate with others. And many of these energies are coming in really fast that they want to collaborate you with you, they want to communicate with you, uh, they want to get together with you. And it's because many of you are initiates along this path, you know, with the Page of Wands is what I'm feeling. Um, uh, initiates along this path or you're started a new creative path or you're meant to create with others to create something viable on this earth to show others the way. And the Queen of Wands energy is what I'm feeling here. So many of you are beautiful, fiery manifestors. You're quite capable of taking care of yourself. And you're also, um, besides that you're very fiery, we've got lots of fire dragon energy here. And I see the Leo here in the cat. The black cat could be a strong symbol for you. Bastat energy. I love Bastat. Also Sekhmet energy. So maybe you've had to balance between the two. Again, balance. That's the alchemist energy here. But you are, um, sunflowers could be another sign for you as well. But you're a royal from this bloodline. Um, and this would be a, a Lyran Draconian uh, hybrid energy. Is what I'm hearing. Now you can have other energies within you. But this is the bloodline we're speaking of. Um, so you definitely could have other hybrid energies that have uh, mixed in possibly from Arcturus as well uh, later on. But definitely you're meant to be independent and you're meant to be, um, you're beautiful. You're very sexy and beautiful and uh, people are very drawn to you. Moths will flame is what I'm hearing. That's, um, and that's super true. Okay, so that's, um, that's the energies I'm getting for you here. I'm going to get some of these little fey cards for you. That's what I'm feeling. The witch hair cross the threshold, leap the hedge, go over the wall. So this is uh, something you're called to do or something that you've already done. So take that how it resonates. But I do feel you have many, many of you have very witchy energies. And also you could have a bunny energy. There could be like a golden bunny, some sort of bunny energy. You might be seeing bunnies. And as I say that, this other card here says the spirit familiar. And then she's holding a bunny, you guys. So that's just a confirmation. If you're seeing bunnies, uh, this is definitely your reading which is crazy because I've been seeing bunnies like mild, mad everywhere. But I always see that as a sign from Ostara, um, which is a goddess that I called in from my ancestors. But this says seek loving connections and cherish friendships. So again, you are meant to have these loving connections with your soul family, to have these people to work together with 
um, to gain this Ten of Pentacles together. Uh, many of you are, are stars, and many of you are, um, I don't know, you could be content creators, you could actually be a star, you could actually be meant to be a star in the future as well. And this is something that you're meant to do because you're meant to shine brightly. I'm feeling um, one of these cards. So uh, the climate, transits. You had to work through a lot of transits. You had to work through a lot of 5-5 five, five on that card. Uh, you had to work through a lot of to a lot of change. And again, there's many transits that are happening right now in the month of October, but this will come to you whenever you need it. I do feel that you've had to really protect your energies and you had to transform over time, um, over your lifetime. And maybe you're still transforming right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. But this is an invitation to their descendants. So you're a descendant of this dragon bloodline. And this is an invitation to step into the future because your love is coming in for you. This beautiful Venusian energy, your beloved, um, the love of your soul family, star family, your, the love of your life uh, is an alliance. It's an alliance with you. And there's a conjunction to bring this in right now. These solar flares have been activating this to bring this in. And you might have been having visions of this with Neptune's energy right here. Uh, you might have been having visions of this. And that's just another call to group number one. And it's bringing you home. They're bringing you together and you're going to achieve this. You're meant to have this beautiful home together with your soul family. Um, there could be somebody that's really tempted by you, Capricorn energy. Uh, that's a beautiful um, energy. But you're meant to achieve great things. Like you're the goat. You're the goat at achieving. You're really independent. You're really uh, magical. Again, you're meant to be the star. And this is just a really, really powerful energy. I really love this. I really love this reading. You guys, let me know how it resonates. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys below in the comments. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to get to your messages, but I get to all of them. And I just love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much. And please hit that like button for me if you haven't already, as this really helps my video get out to others. And it's free to do. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you're enjoying my videos as again that is also free and it really helps to support my channel plus I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers you guys and when I'm at 3,000 subscribers I'm going to be doing another giveaway of oracle cards so if you want to be part of that giveaway please be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on one of my videos and then I'll be doing a posting for that later you guys and thank you so much to everybody who has donated um to donate to my channel or purchased a personal reading I want to let you guys know that you guys are actually buying me gas money and food while I do this grid work uh, for the collective so I'm ever so so grateful for you. I'm sending you guys so much light and love and I'll talk to you soon.